Firstly, I will thank you for all the attendance and kindly accept my apologies for not all attending the conference. My paper entitled Effect of Fuel Type on the Life Cycle of Egyptian Cement Industry Environmental Impact Assessment Approach. The authors Ahmed Abdul Ali, Professor Abdul Azim Mohammed Ning, Professor Mahmoud Fergalibadi, and Professor Mona Ibrahim. Our affiliation is Department of Environmental Engineering, Egypt, Japan University of Science and Technology in Egypt. Submitted to the International Academic Forum, the Asian Conference on Sustainability, Energy, and Environment. About the presenter, the first author is Ahmed Abdul Talib Ali, PhD student at Environmental Engineering at EJUST as a scholarship for Egyptian ministry. My background is Architecture Engineering Assistant Lecturer in Aswad University in Egypt, and my PhD study is Assess the Environmental Impacts of Egyptian Residential Building by Using the Life Cycle Assessment Methodology. Firstly, I want to make an introduction about the, there are many different procedures and tools about the environmental performance evaluation, uh, such as environmental indicator system, environmental management accounting, environmental management system, and eventually the eco-labeling and environmental impact assessment have been added uh, in the EPE. Uh, the, the, this study, uh, the, this study and this paper will focus on environmental impact assessment approach, which include many tools such as the life cycle assessment, life cycle energy analysis, life cycle carbon analysis, and the final life cycle cost analysis. This study will focus on the life cycle assessment. About the in general about the life cycle assessment tool, we can mention here in this figure about the raw, mater raw material and energy and water there are the resources and the output of the of the analysis about the main the main the main life cycle analysis uh, sources is uh, from extraction material processing design manufacturing distribution and then use the operational use and finally the disposal and these scenarios about recycle reuse and concentrations this paper will focus on the in the first stage about the life cycle analysis uh, which is the cement uh, manufacturing process and study the resources about the raw, raw material extraction energy and uh, assess the environmental impact about the waste about the air emission land emission and water emission Regarding to the life cycle assessment of cement industry, many literature describes that production of cement involves the consumption of large quantities of raw material, energy, and heat. About the cement production results in the, in the release significant amount of solid waste material. The manufacturing process is very complex uh, because, uh, because the number of materials, processing techniques, and fuel sources such as coal, fuel, oil, natural gas, and petroleum cook. Therefore, the authors used the life cycle assessment to assess this, this uh, complex process uh, by the environmental impact of the alternative fuel tables types in the cement manufacturing. The cement manufacturing in Egypt, the Egyptian cement industry increased in size and capacity during the last 30 years. Uh, in 1975-5, the Egyptian cement industry was comprised of four factors, but nowadays uh, there are uh, 16 factors which produced 46 million tons cement per year. This is figure which shows the, the, shows the cement factors in, uh, in Egypt are highlighted with red indicators in, the, in the Egypt. Our case study in Upper Egypt in Asyut. The cement manufacturing process. Uh, this is the, the, the old stage of of, manuf of cement manufacturing process from the uh, coring and extracting the lower the raw material, transporting tra transportation to cr crushing, and then the raw milling, and then the, uh, the the clinker about the heating and oven oven uh, oven stage, and finally adding the uh, the, the gypsum or or the additional make, uh, mixture and finally backing of the cement uh, process. This is all the stage of, of cement industry. Uh, the next is the environmental state of cement companies in Egypt. In 1994, the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency 
issued the Egyptian Environmental Protection Law Number no. Four, and their uh, regulation was issued for protection of the Egyptian environment. Limits for dust emission, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur oxide. Following the ratification of Law Nine for the Environmental in 2009, the, the EEAA the, uh, developed new air emission standard, which are expected to be uh, in, uh, by Parliament toward the end of the, the world, uh, the, uh, the end of 2010. Uh, this is the process of uh, uh, cement process emission and the emission from each stage, which was shown in the on the previous figure about the process of uh, cement about the cement manufacturing. Each each stage has dust emission. All all stage have dust emissions and uh, and uh, CO two emission SOX and uh, and NOx from from uh, uh, from some uh, some stage in the in the cement manufacturing. About cement blood in, in Egypt, the case study, the main, the, the main components in the manufacture of cement are not different, different from the faker uh, factory to another, but the difference in the amount of this material in factory, these materials are limestone, adobe or clay, sand, slag, and gypsum, which are called raw materials. Referring to other materials such as energy and resource, consist of mazut, natural gas, solar or diesel, water, and electricity. Eventually, the emissions from the cement manufacturing are include dust emissions and gases emissions such as SOX, CO, and NOx. To the best of the author's knowledge from, from, from previous authors' literature, which published in International Journal of Research, Engineering, and Technology, Impact Factor 1.5, Egypt suffered from shortage, shortage of the life cycle in virtual database. Thus, the authors suggest collect the input output database of Egyptian plant from the field visit. To assess the environmental impact of the cement industry, the, the, the authors used SEMA Pro version 8.1 to analyze the two types of cement industry plant using the above inventory, data, inventory database. SEMA Pro is a dedicated life cycle assessment software tool for undertaking life cycle assessment studies according to ISO 4014 and 4044. The Golan scope definition of this uh, of this study is to contribute the environmental impact assessment of the cement industry in Egypt by means of adaptation the life cycle assessment methodological process in order to ease the stakeholders, decision makers, and building material material manufacturing. Therefore, a comparison has been performed between two different system of the same of the same cement plant in Egypt regarding to the alternative fuel type. One of them is using electricity, natural gas, solar, mazut as an energy consumption, and the second is a hypothetical plant operating use using electricity and coal. To make a fair comparison between the two systems, all of the input of life cycle and venture database are the same quantities and in the two case study in Egypt because the second case study is under development and thus it is hypothetical. Taking into account the minimal error rates of the result between the two Egyptian cement plants. For the functional unit, all the data collection and all the calculation basis for one kilogram of About the second stage of life cycle assessment is life cycle inventory database, the Egyptian case study about the field, the field the visit. This, these are the uh, the data about the consumption of raw material, the, the consumption of raw of raw material, the consumption of, of uh, energy consumptions, and finally the emissions. We can mention here the four the four consumption of raw material: clay, sand, slag, and gypsum, and then electrical, natural gas, mazot, solar, and finally the dust, the, the emissions about the dust and the gases, socks and nox, socks, nox, and CO. About the about the, the third stage is life cycle impact assessment LCIA. This is life cycle inventory results from the field field visits, and this stage called characterization to distribute the life cycle inventory inventory database about the emissions to all of the impact categories of the environmental categories. Then, the, the, uh, then we convert them to the midpoint 
impact and the finally end point by using the same approach. The impact category which used in this uh, in this uh, paper is impact 2002 plus and this all the midpoint category which which calculated by the SEMA Pro and finally the damage the damage assessment which include human health ecosystem quality and resources about the network flow from the SEMA Pro this is the, about the natural gas natural gas solar and and mazot about the ordinary uh, plant in Egypt about the four stage of uh, raw material and then the uh, fuel or energy consumption. The second is a hypothetical about the coal uh, using coal energy uh, and, and, and electricity. This is the second plan. When we comparison it by midpoint uh, midpoint method, we can find in this in this category. Uh, 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 that presents the relative impact uh, impacts produced by uh, each energy resource in each phase of the Egyptian cement plant. It is observed that uh, uh, in this figure that respectively uh, organic aquatic acidification and global warming potential uh, have a higher impact than the ordinary uh, process in the first in the in the ordinary uh, plant. Uh, so we can mention that uh, we can mention that from the use of coal is the uh, sulfur dioxide compound that is produced from the plant uh, uh, chimney during the oven stage. Secondly, about the uh, comparison in totally uh, in, in the midpoint method, uh, uh, comparison between the cool and the ordinary, the ordinary we can mention here that the, uh, the, the environmental impact, uh, impact of, of cool is higher than the ordinary. The, uh, uh, the heard uh, by the uh, SEMA Pro by the SEMA Pro result. Uh, this mainly attribute to the difference of the chemical composition of coal and other fuel which are used in the oven process. Furthermore, using coal in the cement plant has highly adverse environmental impact by 20% uh, percentage in it, it, and it is not ineffective. We can reducing it by using uh, te uh, technologies such as scrubbers and the uh, to reach to the ordinary uh, case. On the other hand, about the f about the final assessment, which is uh, damage assessment based on uh, based on the end uh, based on the end point uh, method indicates both of the human health the human health and the climate the climate change damage are the higher in the casing of the coal in the cement industry from uh, from this figure uh, about the conclusion this paper compares the environmental the environmental impacts of a typical cement industry in Egypt considering different sources of energy compared to coal. The discussion result, uh, re, uh, revealed that using coal in cement industry produced 20% uh, uh, percentage adverse environmental impact, uh, 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 global warming, and uh, and uh, 25 respiratory in, uh, in organic compared to other resources based on the midpoint. Uh, about the end point method, the expected damage are higher in both of the human health damage and the climate change uh, category if we use the coal uh, in the oven stage compared to the other uh, sources. However, the adverse environmental impact, um, impact of coal can be minimized by activating the environmental laws through the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency and encouraging the cement industry to utilize new technology through set of incentives policies and using the European technology such as the scrubbers. Finally, about the recommendations, the authors highlight the following suggestion, which is implemented might, might be highly contribute in reducing the environmental impact of the cement industry. Develop, firstly, developing national policy to systemize supply on long-term basis for consensus quality waste uh, of food. Uh, the difference of the coal chemical composition which used has a significant environmental impact positively and negatively. Clean coal technology is a collection of, technology, of technologies B 
being developed to mitigate the environmental impact of coal burning such as scrubbers must have an important role in Egyptian cement plan. Encouraging production of low energy cement and, and incentivizing the use of waste as a fuels. Using sustainable fuels and raw material to reduce the environmental impact for the core, for the coring and the grinding process, developing and, and applying comprehensive norm, norms of the cement industry cover all pollutants on coal or alternative fuel used. Involving reliable and acceptable life cycle assessment for cement industry as well as other industry based on Egyptian conditions and encouraging cement plant to take up life cycle assessment studies for contention Acknowledgements, the first author would like to thank Egyptian Ministry of Higher Education to for providing me the financial support PhD uh, scholarship in Egypt Japan University of Science and Technology. Furthermore, the authors would like to thank Mrs. Anika too, who is responsible for of SEMA Pro version 8 for providing us the one month uh, PhD license. Also, the Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Linda, who is responsible of Econvent database for uh, providing us academically free access. About the in general about the life cycle assessment tool, we can mention here. In Thank you for all attention. Finally, of my presentation about the effect of fuel type on the life cycle of Egyptian cement industry environmental impact assessment ap approach and you are welcome for any comments uh, comment thank you goodbye